please subscribe mat.com and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more video updates hello everyone our today's topic is the difference between symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix we will discuss the three basic differences between the two with the help of example we'll start with the definition of the mm, uh, of, uh, of the symmetric matrix that what is symmetric matrix so symmetric matrix um, uh, so a matrix is said to be symmetric if let's say let a is any matrix then we can say that a matrix is symmetric if transpose of a matrix is equals to the matrix itself so this is the basic concept of the symmetric matrix after which you can identify any matrix to be a symmetric or not so it means if you take the transpose of a matrix you will get the matrix itself again so this is the this is the definition or the, the in the mathematical representation of the symmetric matrix now we move towards the skew symmetric matrix so for skew symmetric matrix let's say we have let a is any matrix then a matrix is said to be skew symmetric if transpose of a matrix is equals to negative of the matrix itself so this is the definition of a skew symmetric so if you are given with a matrix and you take its transpose it should be equal to negative of that matrix itself so this is how uh, in terms of definition the two types of matrices differ from each other then we move towards the another condition that you needs to be check uh, while finding uh, whether the the uh, matrix is symmetric or skew symmetric is a i j should be equals to a j i it means the element of the matrix after taking the transpose should be equal if um, should be equal at the location like a 1 1 should be equals to at the a 1 1 a 1 2 should be equals to a 2 1 a 1 3 should be equals to a 3 1 and so on this is this should be true for all i and j of the matrix and j of which uh, of, of of the matrix of which you are going to find whether it is symmetric or not after taking the transpose you have to check this thing after taking the transpose so this is the second condition of the symmetric matrix that you have to check while um, uh, finding whether a matrix is symmetric or not then we move to the towards the skew symmetric matrix so you will understand this concept better when we will take the example now we move towards the second difference of the skew symmetric matrix in case of skew symmetric matrix you must have a i j equals to minus of a j i this will be also be should be true for all i and j so where i is the row and where i is the row and j is the column so it same is the case here that a11 should be equals to minus a11 this should be true for all i and j and one thing is diagonal elements should be equal to 0 in case of skew symmetric matrix equal to 0 so in diagonal we get a11 equals to a two two equals to a three three up to so on. It depends on the order of the matrix. Should be equals to zero. This is another condition of a skew symmetric matrix. Now let's have an example, and we will see how you can say that the given matrix is symmetric or skew symmetric um, uh, by uh, with the help of the example. So the example is if you have a matrix A equals to. So this is a matrix we have, and we have to check whether it is. symmetric or not now keep this in mind that this is a diagonal so this is a diagonal keep it aside and you have to see whether the elements in the in this position and the elements at this position should be same it means aij should be equals to aji it is obvious that the elements in the diagonal will be a11 a22 and a33 they will be at there there is uh, the uh, these are uh, they, these will be the same equals to a11 equals to a22 equals to a33 so we need to skip the diagonal we need to check the elements above the diagonal and below the diagonal so the elements above the diagonal below the di diagonal are equal as the element at a12 is equals to a21 a13 equals to a31 and a23 uh, equals to a32 so it means this matrix is a symmetric matrix so we can write here that 
A is a symmetric matrix. This was about uh, the uh, fact that uh, we have just checked the condition of AIJ is equal to AGI. If we take the transpose of this matrix, we will get the same matrix. You can check it by yourself. It means that this is a symmetric matrix. So, now we move towards the example of a skew symmetric matrix. Now, in skew symmetric matrix, we have an example A is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. So, this is a matrix in which we have to check what? We have to check whether the elements in the diagonal are 0 or not. Yes, the elements are 0. This is one conditional. Then we have to take its transpose and check whether it is equal to minus A or not. Let's find its transpose. What we will get is 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 3, minus 2, minus 3 and 0. This is the transpose and we have to check whether it is equal to minus of AT or not. Yes, it is. So, it means A is equal to minus of A transpose. So, this condition is also satisfied. We have seen two conditions and the third condition is AIJ should be equal to AJI. So, if we skip this diagonal and check the elements as this is minus 1, this is 1. So, it means AIJ is equal to minus of AJI. Minus 2, this is 2 and this is minus 3 and this is 3. It means AIJ equals to minus AJI. So, all the conditions are satisfied. It means this is a skew symmetric matrix. So, uh, that's all from today's lecture. Uh, this is how we can differentiate the two matrices and you can uh, easily find whether the given matrix is a symmetric or not by using these conditions. So, thank you and stay tuned for the next.